Hello everyone, Jeff and Derek here with A Taste for Whiskey. And once again, we have partnered with Indiana Liquor Group to do some great reviews and provide you with some uh, information on some more whiskey that we're going to be reviewing and we're going to be tasting here shortly. But before we get started, one of the things that we want to talk about real quick is with Indiana Liquor Group, be sure and join the loyalty program, the VIP loyalty program. And why is this important? Because they're rare bottles. You know, we always want to get... We always want to know when those are going to happen, when, when are we going to have the opportunity to purchase these allocated products. So be sure to go in Friendly Liquors, Save On, Boulevard Liquors, Noble Wine and Spirits, or Muncie Liquors, and give them your email address. Tell them you want to sign up for the VIP loyalty program, and that'll give you access to uh, new whiskey products, some tastings we're going to be doing, first access to Whiskey Fest events where you're going to be able to get those rare bottles and, and, and uh, purchase, right to buy purchase and, and raffles going there. Um, the email in includes, will include uh, grand openings and things like that. So very, very important to get signed up for that. And um, so you can be in the know before everyone else. Yeah, it's quick and easy. Absolutely. You know, I was in there. I didn't even know they had it. And somebody working there asked me to, to be part of the loyalty program. And I thought, why not? And, That's yeah. exactly right. So today, what we want to review with you is we want to go kind of take a trip to Wilderness Trail. And one of my favorite things with Wilderness Trail is uh, we're going to be sampling three different whiskeys. Uh, actually, three different bur or two different bourbons and a rye. <laughs> All whiskey. All whiskey. All whiskey. That's right. So one of the things we're going to get into is our first one here is the Wilderness Trail Wheat. It's a wheated bourbon. And they're out of Danville, Kentucky. And you know what's really interesting with Wilderness Trail? One of the things that I really like about this particular distillery is they use a sweet mash. I thought you was going to tell me it was this really cool, I almost thought it was Wu-Tang Clan when I first <laughs> seen it. This really cool symbol they have and, and the bottle. I mean, I, I really like the presentation of the bottle. Oh, absolutely. The, the, the thing that they do is... is everything right and one of that being they use a very different technique in distilling and that is most of you are familiar with sour mash these guys use a sweet mash whereas you have to completely you know clean out the still clean everything out and every single distillation is going to start from scratch so that means new mash new uh, new yeast everything but what that allows you to do is it really allows you to create uh, kind of control the product and the flavor profile that you want. So with this particular one, you've got uh, this bottled and bond, single barrel weeded that's aged between five and six years with a 24% wheat and 12% malted barley. And they've created their own yeast strains. So Wilderness Trail, one of the other cool things about Wilderness Trail is that they, before they distilled, they actually consulted with many other distilleries to provide them with yeast strains to create other distilleries flavor profile. Hmm. Very interesting. These are so sweet mash. I mean, it's gotta be a much more difficult, expensive process. Right? Very much is so. Yes. And, and hard to kind of create some consistency. That's right. That's not why everybody's not doing it. You know, that's why only a few people Cause are you, you're right. I mean, you see sour mash on almost everything. So yeah, sweet mash. So that's what makes this product so unique. And with this, this is the highest weeded mash bill that's currently out with a 24% wheat and it's sweet mash and it's coming from Wilderness Trail and they create, develop their own yeast strains. So we've got something very unique in this. Yeah. Bottled and bond, so it's gonna be 100 proof. You sold me, <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm ready to try. So let's get on the nose, Derek. So this is really interesting. I have not smelled a, a, a weeded bourbon quite like this. And one of the things I want to just go into just a little bit more of the, the, the nerd stuff here, and that is the low barrel entry proof. They go in at about 110, which weed is a very kind of a versatile grain. So sometimes if you go in at a higher uh, barrel entry proof, it, it could kind of create a, a more tannic uh, flavor profile. Yeah. 
So with this, when you go in, when you use a, a lower barrel entry proof, I think it really keeps that wheat nice and soft. It does have a nice soft, I mean, that was a good word right on the nose. Mm. Uh, you know, a little vanilla caramel, but... Yeah, kind of musty. But a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Very unique. Picking up some leather notes. Yes, sir. Some old leather notes. Absolutely. Well, let's see what this tastes like. Cheers, mm -hmm. my friend. Cheers. That is different. Wow. So at 100 proof, I, I've never had quite anything like this. That is, you know, it, it really, that is different. It fills the whole palate. Wow, that is, that is very unique. It's vanilla. Vanilla, leather, that leather's coming back. Yeah, it is. It's not like it a, is. like a, it's like an old leather shoe. You know, you kind of smell. I agree. It's actually quite pleasant. It's it's very different, very nice, completely unique from a weeded whiskey perspective or weeded bourbon. I'm sorry, and it go enters in the palate sweet. You got some vanilla that comes in, very little spice, a lot of creaminess in the finish. It just it just kind of continues to stay there and grow in that sweet, more sweet note. Mm -hmm. it very nice. very sweet. I, I tell you what, that sits. The nose was different from the palate, and the first palate taste is much different than the finish. Absolutely. It's almost like I've had three different bourbons <laughs> yeah. in, one, in one sip right here. Yeah, that is very, very nice. Yeah. Which, well, you know, we're going to kind of take a different path here, and now we're going to go with the small batch um, high rye. Yeah. So this particular small batch is going to be a 24% rye. So essentially we're replacing the wheat with the rye. And again, we're our low, low entry barrel proof is going to be at 110. So again, I think low barrel entry on a sweet mash just creates a richer, better bourbon, in my opinion, based off of some of the ones that I've tried. I just love these uh, distilleries going into the barrel at a low barrel entry proof. And so this one was single barrel. That's correct. So you're huh? going to get some variation. Yep. Uh, this one's a small batch, so not as much variation. That is right? correct. Uh, both 100 proof. You might have already said that. So on this one, boy, on this particular one, completely different. <laughs> Absolutely different. That is, yeah. You know, and when you get in some craft breweries that's why i like the craft and the single barrels and things because you just get such a different flavor profile and uniqueness out of them yeah this mm. here on the nose i can't help it I, I know we had a little bit of a we did a little bit of a sample beforehand but i still continue to get this like cherry cola on the nose it's kind of got an herbal nose with yeah. a little bit of cherry cola notes to it Maybe some honey. Honey was where I was just picking up a little honey on it. So at 24% rye, 12% malted barley. Let's see where this goes at 100 proof mm -hmm. on a small batch. Cheers. Cheers. I got you a little, <laughs> I got you a little heavy on your floor right there. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Boy, I love these products. You know... This one here is sweet. It goes in sweet, um, kind of has this tropical note, and we're kind of going into even more of this honey. Yeah. Uh, it just kind of goes, and then the, 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 the proof on that finish, it's still a medium finish, but it just really lingers still. Got that sweetness kind of flowing through. And it's, it's a little spicier. Yeah. You know, you can pick up, definitely pick up how there was that switch from wheat to rye, uh, which just... It's just different. I don't know which one. Yeah. I like, I don't know if I could choose. Uh, for a wheat, this is so different. I've never experienced a wheat quite like that. Um, for the rye, this is a very different when you're talking a high rye. Both mm -hmm. of these are aged between five and six years. And so, um, yeah, they're just very different, but very unique. So I'd say that, you know, if you're looking for something that's, if you're looking for a weeded that you want to try that's different, this is excellent. If you're looking for a different type of a rye, again, this is excellent.
because of that sweet mash and that low barrel entry proof. I can't wait to get to this. Yeah. Full rye. Well, this is a rye, not a bourbon, right? That is not correct. 100% rye. That's right. But a, so actually a low rye? Yeah, you absolutely. Hit, hit us with so this is actually this. going to be a 56% rye. So we're still, we got a 33% corn on this and 11% malted barley. So what this provides you with is instead of getting more of those spicy notes that you're going to get from a typical rye, this is going to allow you to experience more of that softer, you know, sweeter notes of the rye. And this is, I'll be honest with you, this is one of my favorites. This is my favorites of the Wilderness Trail products. It's uh, barrel proof. This one's gonna come in at 114. It's a single barrel. And I absolutely love this. A more approachable rye, right? Yes. Um, so for those of you that don't, you say you don't like rye because they're too spicy, this is not that. So on the nose, right away, uh, it's that bubble gum. It's that, the, you know, I always say you got yeah. dill or you got mint or you're going to have that bubblegum cotton candy notes. And this is just bubblegum. Bazooka Joe. Bazooka, Bazooka Joe, Joe bubblegum. Bubble it's candy. There's a hint of mint that kind of comes in. So my guess is as this bottle continues to get less, uh, we're going to have, uh, we're going to get a little bit more mintiness and probably a little less of the bubblegum. But See, man. I have orange. Yes. Like an orange. Yeah. There, That's the orange coming in. Orange. Yeah. It's extremely complex. And again, at four to six years, you know, we got a, the, now the barrel entry proof on this is between 100 and 105. So this is actually going to be a little bit lower belt barrel entry proof. And again, sweet mash. Sweet, that's what I was yeah. getting ready to ask. It's, it's right here. So, you know, I know you're not going to see this on the camera, but on the side of these, they have, they have the mash bills on these. Yes. So you want to know the barrel proof, the mash bill, you, you know, it seems like they're just open. This is what we're doing. We, we'll let you know it's good. It's great. Try yes. it. Here's what we have. Absolutely. A lot of them are real secretive, right? <laughs> yeah. So, which These, is okay too, but. Full disclosure. That's yeah, what I love about yeah. on this trail. And for people that are into that type of stuff and want to yeah. know exactly what oh, they're yeah. drinking. Yeah. Let's go in for, for the taste on this because yeah. the nose is fantastic. Cheers again. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Boy, it hits orange heavy. Like yeah. it comes out orange. Yep. Oh, yeah. So the finish is really nice. It's creamy. Like a soda orange. Yeah. Like if you smell like a soda orange. Absolutely agree. Mm. And then when it goes in the front, so you're going to pick up those candy notes, yeah. a lot of sweetness. Um, there's a little bit of that mint that kind of comes in underneath that. So that mintiness does pop in, but not, not much of the spiciness. And then it just, you get that orange sweet note that's got this nice long finish. I tell you folks, I'm a fan of Wilderness Trail. I'm a fan of Sweet Mash. And we absolutely love the fact that they kind of go in with that lower, uh, lower entry proof, which creates just a very, uh, set of unique whiskeys, um, Again, bourbon and rye. So come out, check out our tastings, and be sure to try these. You're going to love them. Again, cheers.